But that's why Jesus says, deny yourself, follow me. And what I'm finding is when you deny yourself, you actually find yourself in him. Come on. Something hot in there. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Woo! God's Hallelujah. moving more, God, more. Mm. Next week, he's going to be able to test on for himself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next, next. Thank you for that. Vamos a hablar un poquito de lo que Dios ha hecho en sus vidas y nos va a introducir cómo tú, cómo tú puedes ser usado en los milagros, cómo tú puedes ser usado en las sanidades. Amén. Así que ahí parado, por favor, dale un aplauso. First, I want to say thanks for the honor and blessing. Primeramente quiero darle las gracias por el honor y la bendición. To let me speak to you. De poder hablar con ustedes hoy. You're really blessed. Ustedes están muy bendecidos. You have a pastor who's after the heart of God. Tú tienes un pastor que está buscando el corazón de Dios. I want to honor him just by praying right now. Quiero honrarlo en oración para él. Extend your hand toward the pastor. Extiende tu mano hacia él, por favor. Lord, I thank you for this man. Padre, te doy gracias por este hombre. Fill him with your fire. Llénalo con tu fuego. Fill him with your love. Llénalo con tu amor. Overwhelm him with your goodness. Satúralo con tu con tu buenas dadas, señor. Lead him. Le dirígelo, señor. As he leads his congregation. Mientras dirige su congregación. Into your heart. En tu corazón. In Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Gracias. Gloria a Dios. One thing God was putting on my heart. Una de las cosas que Dios ha puesto en mi corazón. We are His body. Nosotros somos su cuerpo. He is the head. Él es la cabeza, se puede If I wanted to grab something, si yo quiero agarrar algo, I would not use my head. Yo no usaría mi cabeza. That looks kind of goofy. Eso como que no se ve normal. I would use my hand. Usaría mi mano. Or if I want to go somewhere. Si quiero ir a un lugar. I would use my feet. Uso mis pies. We have a God. Tenemos un Dios. Who's in love with the world. Que está enamorado con el mundo. And he loves to touch them. Y ama a to tocarlos. He loves to walk with people. Ama caminar con su pueblo. And he does it by using his body. Lo usa usando su cuerpo. In Ephesians 1, en Efesios, capítulo 1, verse 22, verso 22, says, and he put all things under his feet. Efesios, and 
Efesios capítulo 1, versículo 22. And gave him to be head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. His body, his church, has the fullness of him living in us. Su cuerpo, nosotros, somos lo que Dios usa para sanidades. With healing, Cuando tiene que ver con las sanidades, God wants to heal people, Dios los quiere sanar, but he wants to use you to do it. Pero quiere usarte a ti para hacerlo. One time, me and my wife were on a date. Una vez, yo y mi esposa estábamos cenando juntos. We weren't trying to minister to anybody. No, que nuestra motivo no era ir a sanar a nadie. But there was a guy sitting down and he looked really angry. Pero había una persona que se estaba sentando cerca de nosotros y se veía molesto. This was at Clackamas Town Center. Eso estaba aquí en el Clackamas. I started talking to him. Empecé a hablar con él. And asked him if he had pain in his body. Le pregunté si tenía dolor en su cuerpo. And he looked at me and go, told me how about a grenade that went off and it tore his lungs in half. Me dijo de que una vez agarró una una granada en sus manos y destruyó sus tumores, pulmones, perdón. And then he proceeded to tell me about uh, bullet wounds and all kinds of injuries he had. Y me decía de 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 heridas con que tiene que ver con balas y cosas que ha sucedido en su vida. I Asked if I could pray for him. Yo le pedí, ¿yo puedo orar por ti? And he got angry. Y él se molestó. He said, I don't believe in prayer. Él dice, Yo no creo en la oración. I told him I just wanted to bless him. I yo said, le dije, yo I don't care what you believe. I, I just want to bless him. Finally, he said, fine. It will make you feel better. Dijo, okay, ora por mí, si eso te hace sentir mejor. Well, it will, so I pray. Yo dije, pues si lo vas a hacer, voy a orar. And he didn't get healed at first. Al principio no fue sanado. But the Spirit of God hit him. Pero el Espíritu Santo lo tocó. And he broke down crying. Y empezó a llorar. Gloria a Dios. When he was in the military. Cuando estaba en el militar. He got shot and he turned around and shot the person that shot him and it was a little kid with a gun. Cuando to, to, una vez um, le, alguien le dio un balazo y cuando miró a, a darle también el balazo al que, al que fue fue un niño. He was crying. Estaba llorando. He was telling me that he feels God could never forgive him for that. So I shared with him my testimony. Y le di mi testimonio. I used to be a homeless drug addict on the streets. Yo antes era un, um, drogadicto vagabundo. Sí. <laughs> But then I encountered Jesus and he kind of has a way of changing things. <laughs> so so I, I said, hey, let, let me just pray for your lungs one more time. And he looked at me and said, look. God is not going to heal my lungs. Dios no me va a sanar. You are not going to heal my lungs. No me vas a sanar. And there's nothing you could do to get my lungs back. Y no hay nada que tú puedes hacer para devolverme mis pulmones. So I said, cool. Y le dije, bueno. I laid my head on him. Puse mi mano sobre él. And just said, in Jesus' name. Dije, en el nombre de Jesús. Thank you for brand new lungs. Gracias por las nuevas pulmones. He grabbed his chest and started screaming. Agarró su pecho y empezó a gritar. Ah! <laughs> like he was in pain. Ah, como si tuviera el dolor. I was looking around for security guards. Yo miraba por seguridad. <laughs> I was like, oh no. He's, I just caused this guy a heart attack. <laughs> and just by praying. <laughs> But then I asked him if he felt heat. Pero le pregunté si sentía un poquito and he said, calor. yes, Digo, his sí. lungs are on fire. Que sus pulmones estaban en fuego. After a minute of screaming, Después de un minuto de estar gritando, he takes a deep breath. <gasps> Respira por la primera vez. And says, "I haven't breathed that deep in years." Y dijo, yo no, yo no puedo respirar así de profundo en años. He gets up. Now he's really crying. Se levanta, pero ahora sí está llorando demasiado. Isn't it amazing how Jesus could turn someone from angry? No to se
He stands up, and I remember he has bullet wounds. Se para y me recuerdo que él tiene um, so I asked him, de balas. Where, the, where are they at? Y le pregunté, ¿dónde están? And then this time he said, man, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. Stop, decir, stop. Yo, I don't yo deserve this. Esto. Yo no merezco esto. None of us deserved it, but y Jesus no died on the cross for each of us. So I prayed for his legs, his legs got healed. I prayed for his shoulder, his shoulder got healed. Can no feeling in his hand from a bullet wound. God restored his nerves. Then I heard in my heart, just felt I needed to pray for his back. So I laid my hand on his lower back. He got stabbed in the back. And our, our Jesus restored him. Do you think it was a fight or a debate for him to come to know Jesus after that? I asked him if he wanted to know Jesus. He says, yes, I'm yours. I'm turning to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. En primera de Corintios capítulo 12. A, a lot of people think you have to have a special anointing. Muchas personas piensan que tienes que tener un to be used by God. Unción especial para poder ser usado por Dios. Or you have to be the the man of God. O tienes que ser el hombre de Dios. All you need is Jesus. Lo único que necesitas es Jesús. And to believe what he says. Y creer en lo que él ha dicho. In 12, chapter 12, verse 1, it, it says. Primera de Corintios capítulo 12, verso 1 dice. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren. Ahora, amados hermanos, con respecto a la pregunta acerca de las capacidades especiales en el espíritu. The word gift there in my Bible is italics. El, la palabra y capacidades especiales está um, es, significa algo diferente. There, there's a reason why. Hay una razón por la, por la cual se ve. Because it's dice, not in the original text. Porque en el, no está escrito en la Biblia original. If you look up any Strong's dictionary or any a Greek or Hebrew si dictionary. En las, en las diccionarios bíblicos con referente a este capítulo. The word gift isn't there. La palabra capacidades especiales no está ahí. They added it there to make sense of that. Lo añadieron para que tú lo entiendas aquí ahora. The word spiritual means pneumaticos. La palabra espiritual significa pneumaticos. Pneuma meaning Holy Spirit. Pneuma significa Espíritu Santo. And and ticos, it's talking about the things of the Holy Spirit. Y ticos significa las cosas que, que vienen del Espíritu. So it's like, these are the things of the Holy Spirit. I don't want you to be ignorant. It means, the actual word means concerning the supernatural. Now, verse 4, it says there are diversities of gifts. And the word gifts is there. La palabra don espiritual es sí realmente está ahí. But the but the same spirit, the diversities of ministries, but the same Lord and their diversities of activities, but it's the same God who works all in all. Pero el mismo espíritu es la fuente de todos ellos. Hay distintas formas de servir, pero todos sirvimos al mismo Señor. Dios trabaja de maneras diferentes, pero es el mismo Dios que hace la obra en nosotros. Amen. Says so, but. Dice pero. The manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. I'm sorry, where are you? Verse 7? Yeah. yeah, verse 7. Pero dice, a cada uno de nosotros se nos da un don espiritual para que nos ayudemos mutuamente. So it separates gifts from the manifestation of the Spirit. Se separa el don y la manifestación del Espíritu. There are some such thing as gifts. Hay cosas como dones. But the Holy Spirit likes to move a certain way. Pero el Espíritu Santo se, le gusta moverse en una manera particular. 
If, if you hang out with a friend, you pick up certain habits. Al estar con una persona después de un tiempo como que agarras unos hábitos que la persona hace. You, you notice things about your friend that makes them your friend. You know stuff about them. Notas cosas diferentes o conoces a la persona de una manera que puedes llamarlo amigo. These manifestations are how the Holy Spirit interacts with us. Estas manifestaciones es como el Espíritu Santo interactúa con su pueblo. And how he interacts with those around us. Y cómo interactúa con los que están alrededor de nosotros. It says, for one is given the word of wisdom through Dice, the Spirit. A uno el Espíritu le da la capacidad de dar consejos Spirit, sabios. To another faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healings by the same Spirit. To another, working in miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning spirits. To another, different kinds of tongues. To another, interpretation of tongues. But one and the same Spirit works all these things, distributing to each one as he individually wills. Verso 8. A uno el Espíritu le da la capacidad de dar consejos sabios. A otro el mismo Espíritu le da un mensaje de conocimiento espiritual. A otro el mismo Espíritu le da gran fe. Algún más, ese único Espíritu le da el don de sanidad. A uno le da el poder para hacer milagros y a otro la capacidad de profetizar. A algún más le da la capacidad de discernir y si, y si un mensaje es del Espíritu de Dios o si de otro es de otro Espíritu todavía a otros les da la capacidad de hablar en idiomas desconocidos mientras que otros le da la capacidad de interpretar lo que está diciendo es el mismo y único Espíritu que quien distribuye todos esos dones solo Él decide qué don cada uno debe de tener The reason why I'm bringing this up la razón por la cual yo traigo esto hacia ti is because it's easy to see someone in need of a touch of God. Porque es fácil ver a alguien necesitar el toque de Dios. Maybe you're in the store a lo mejor estás en la tienda. and you see somebody limping y ves a alguien que, que coge y cojo. and you feel that tug in your heart because Jesus loves them. Es, es el dolor en tu corazón porque sabes que Jesús los ama. And Jesus wants to heal them. Jesús los quiere sanar. And right before you could, y antes que tú puedes, you say, oh, I don't have that gift. Tú las dices, yo no tengo ese don. Mm. I'm in love with the Holy Spirit. Yo estoy enamorado del Espíritu Santo. The more I know Him, Cuanto más lo conozco, the more I can operate in everything. Más puedo operar en lo que es Él. Each one of you has the Holy Spirit living inside you. That means you don't have to have the gift. You have the Holy Spirit who manifests all the gifts. And all he's asking you to do is be available es que estés, uh, uh, disponible for him to use you. Para que él te use. If you feel that tug on your heart si to pray ese, for someone, ese calor en el corazón para orar para alguien, step out and pray. Hazlo, ora por la persona. But what if they don't get healed? Pero no pregunta, si, si no se sana. It's impossible to pray without something happening. Es imposible, recuerda, es imposible que tú ores sin que algo suceda. You're releasing the Holy Spirit. You may not see the healing. But the Holy Spirit's a fighter. So he'll fight the devil in some way. He may not experience the healing. But maybe God wants to work on his family life or bring peace in his household. You, when you pray, you're stepping out in love and the Holy Spirit touches them. If they do get healed, they have proof for the rest of their life that God exists. They cannot run from it. No 
At the end of 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Al final de primera de Corintios capítulo 12. It says are all apostles. Well, verse, verse 29. Verse 29 dice, are all prophets? Are all, Somos todos are all workers of miracles? We all have gifts of healing? Tenemos todo el poder de hacer milagros? Tenemos todos el don de sanidad? Tenemos todos de la capacidad de hablar en idiomas desconocidos? But earnestly desire Tenemos todos la capacidad de interpretar idiomas desconocidos? So we're to desire gifts and the word is there this time. Pero supuesto que no. But if you notice, gifts is in the context of serving. Le, la palabra don está en el contexto, contexto de servir. So we should desire to serve one another de a unos a los otros. as much as possible Lo más posible. and earnestly desire these kind of gifts y estos dones. and the manifestation of the Spirit y la manifestación del Espíritu Santo. will back up that gift. Nos va a, a prophet a prophet Un profeta will operate in prophecy a lot more than a lot of other believers. Because that's how he's serving the body. But that doesn't mean prophecy is limited to the prophet. It says you all can prophesy. In 1 Corinthians 14. Thank you. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Verse 14. 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 Verse by one tendrán su turno para hablar that you all may learn uno después de otro para que todos aprendan y sean alentados so when we really get this cuando entendemos esto wherever we're at donde quiera que nosotros estemos God can use us Dios nos puede usar instead of finding identity in a gift en vez de buscar tu identidad en un don you start viewing them as tools for a job no lo ves como como algo que tienes que tener sino que lo ves como una una herramienta de trabajo if I'm somewhere and the Holy Spirit wants to give a prophetic word for somebody si estoy en un lugar y el Espíritu Santo anhela darle una palabra profética a alguien example ejemplo I was in Walmart with my wife one time. We were walking around. I saw a girl. She, she looked like something might have been bothering her and I heard suicide in my heart. So I said, hey, can I please bless you? And she kind of looked at me like I was weird. Y como que me miró como si yo fuera raro. That's fine. Okay. So I prayed for her. Oré por ella. And as I was praying, y I just started hablando. proclaiming worth and I started proclaiming God's la palabra de Dios sobre ella. And I just said, You've been struggling with some really dark thoughts. Y le dije, Tú has estado batallando con muchos pensamientos uh, difíciles, oscuros. And this is how God thinks of you. Y mira como Dios piensa de ti. She was crying. God touched her. Dios la tocó. I've had a lot of people Yo he muchas personas tell me decirme, just by stepping out and praying for them por, uh, hacerlo, they, tener la de orar, it prevented suicide. Proven, proven, uh, proviene, 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 yes, el <laughs> We don't know the after effects of what we do. But we have the privilege to be his body. So if Jesus wants to touch somebody, can he use you? It, 
If you're at a grocery store and you notice the lady that's checking your groceries has a thing over her wrist. Will you pray for her? Because Jesus could heal anybody any, any time through you. One, one more thing, really quick. Then we'll get into testimonies. I, I was in Salvation Army one time. I, I used to work at Walmart as a door greeter. When I first started seeing healing, I would be like, hey, welcome to Walmart and pray for them and they get healed. <laughs> I, I, I tried to make it a formula, though. How much faith do I need to have to see this type of miracle? Or how much or how much do I have to press in to see this kind of mm -hmm. It stopped. Y paró. It stopped being about loving people. Paró ser el motivo, amar la gente. And it became about wanting to see a miracle. Y mi enfoque fue más por solamente ver el milagro. I thought I broke it. Yo pensé que yo lo había descubierto. It's like, I guess God's not healing, using me to heal people anymore. <laughs> About a month later, I was in Salvation Army. I saw a lady and she was walking like this. She had bags under her eyes. She looked like she was on something. And my first thought was, what is she on? <laughs> I, it wasn't in my heart to pray for her. I judged her instead. And when I was leaving Salvation Army, this was about four or five years ago. I see her sitting right next to our car. And I think, oh great, I'm going to get robbed. So, as soon as I get to the car, Holy Spirit said, give her a Bible. Instant conviction. I gave her a Bible, and she broke down crying just that someone would talk to her. I found out she got hit by a tow truck and it disaligned her back. I felt so moved with compassion for her that I had to pray. I had no faith she was going to be healed. I was just so moved with love, I, I couldn't help myself. I had to do something. I prayed and she gets up and she's like, What did you do to me? I was just as shocked as she was. But God touched her. Then he spoke to my heart after and said it's about faith operating through love. There's a reason when it talks about spiritual gifts that there's a whole chapter in lo about love in between it. Because healing Porque la sanidad is an expression of love. Es una expresión de amor. And when your motive is love, y cuando tu motivo es amar, even if they don't get healed aunque no se sane, instantly, instantáneamente, they're going to experience love. Van a tener la experiencia de la it's going to touch someone. 
That's the reason. Dios es la razón. That's the purpose. Dios es el propósito. And I'm going to close with this. First Corinthians 13. Primero de Corintios capítulo 13. Though I speak with tongues of men and angels, but I have not love. Verse one. Yeah. De Corintios, capítulo 13, verso 1, dice, I become a sounding brass and a clanging cymbal. Si pudiera hablar todos los idiomas del mundo y de los ángeles, pero no amar a mare, a las demás yo solo sería un metal ruidoso o un símbolo que resuena. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge. Si tuviera el don profético y entendiera todos los planes secretos de Dios y contará con todos con el conocimiento. And though I have all faith so I can remove mountains. Y si tuviera una fe que hacer capaz de mover una montaña. But I have not love. Pero no amaré a otro. I am, I am, I am nothing. Yo soy, que sería nada. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor. Si and though si I give my body to be burned. Si and diera, not love. Si diera todo lo que tengo a los pobres. It profits me nothing. Y hasta sacrificará mi cuerpo. Podría, ah. Uh, Jactarme de eso, pero si no amare de los demás, no habrá logrado nada. We are his body. Nosotros somos su cuerpo. If he wants to love somebody, si él quiere amar a alguien, he's going to use you. Te va a usar a ti. If he wants to touch somebody, si quiere tocar a alguien, he's going to use your hand. Te va a usar a tus manos. So, come up here, Dave. Voy a invitar a mi hermano Dave. Last night was incredible. Anoche fue un día increíble. We saw five people come to the Lord. Vimos cinco personas aceptar a Cristo. Amen. Then another one this morning. Y esta mañana. Just Jesus. Jesús. So we're going to share just a few testimonies. Vamos a dar unos testimonios. This is everyday life for us. Esto es algo que nosotros hacemos todos los días. Can you guys hear me? Amen. 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 It's an honor to be here. Es un honor de poder estar aquí. Um, I'm gonna just start with introducing myself. My voy, name is Dan. Voy a introducirme. Mi nombre es Dan. And uh, just a quick testimony of me. Un testimonio bien rápido de mí. Um, my mother was a heroin addict. Mi madre estaba uh, estaba adicta a la heroína. And uh, my father got deported back to Nigeria, Africa when I was three. Mi padre fue deportado a África cuando yo era pequeño. And I grew up in the foster care system. Crecí en el en el en el sistema. And so. The foster. A lot of my life, I grew up with a lot of um, kids who were orphans. Y mucha de mi mi vida crecí con jóvenes que son. In Oakland, California. Sin padres en en el lugar de California. And I. I associated myself with gang members and drug dealers. And one day I just got into trouble. I was from about three to about 18, I was in the foster care system. When I got out of the system, when you turn 18, the government puts you out. So at 18, I started hanging with a bunch of gang members. In uh, California. In California. And I ended up doing some time in jail, about three months in jail. In jail, I started having these crazy dreams. Before I went to jail, I was addicted to cocaine. Antes que fui a la cárcel estaba adic uh, addicted to um, la cocaína and, uh, marijuana. y la marihuana. And I couldn't really sleep too much at y no podía yo dormir mucho. But in jail I started having dreams because I was sober. En la, en la cárcel empecé a tener sueños porque ya estaba, ya estaba um, no estaba bajo, bajo el medicamento. Dreams where I would float out of my body and I see myself. Sueños donde yo salía de mi cuerpo y me veía. And I just wanted it. Is this God? Is this real? Is yo pensaba, ¿Eso es real? ¿Eso es Dios? And I asked God, if this is you, when I get out of here, reveal yourself to me. Three days after getting out, Tres días después de salir de la cárcel, I got invited to a Bible study. Me invitaron una, una lectura bíblica. 
And there was a pastor there from Portland. Y un pastor ahí que era de Portland. And he just started speaking into my life saying, y God is going to use you. God has mighty plans for your life. He's a father of the fatherless. You're here by divine appointment. He actually invited me to come live with him in Portland. I got baptized. I gave my life to the Lord. This was in 2010. And since then, Jesus has been living in my heart. It's, it's an honor to hear the testimonies here. Just, Jesus, it's, it's evidence of answered prayer. There's, there's nothing more powerful than, no nada más than God answering prayer. When I, when I hear the testimonies um, giving money, the testimonies of cancer leaving, the testimonies of different people in here, Cuando escucho los testimonios de, de la gente dando dinero y de los cáncer desapareciendo, it's, it's, it, it's, it's hard to keep my composure. Um, es difícil mantener mi, mi, mi postura. Um, I love Jesus. Yo amo a Jesús. I didn't have my mom or my dad. Nunca tenía mi madre o mi papá. But the Holy Spirit, when He came upon me, Pero cuando el Espíritu Santo vino hacia mí, He filled me with a love that's just it's unexplainable. Y me llenó con un amor que es inexplicable. I see the love in a lot of you guys here. It's, Yo veo el amor en muchos de ustedes aquí. It's amazing. Jesus is everything. He's everything. I got, I got family members that are still involved with drugs and gangs. But I'm going to live my life for Christ. It's amazing that God is using me. Um, I'm just tired of the darkness out there. There's a lot of gangs. There's a lot of darkness. There's a lot of people who don't know what love is. So they take lives. They're involved with the cartel. They're, they're giving themselves up for little. But we have the mighty gift of Jesus. We have a mighty gift. I'm just sharing because there's so much it's hard when we talk about Christ. It's 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 he's real. He's real. He's real. He's a real person. He's love. And he, he overwhelms me. He overwhelms me. He overwhelms me. His love is overwhelming. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to talk to you guys. Because every day he, he does something that blows my mind. Five young people gave their lives to the Lord yesterday. I want to see you guys forever. We're going to party. I, I love the Latin music. I love it. You guys are going to party. I want to see you guys come. There's, there's a world out there that doesn't know. And we want to bring that to them. We want to bring love to them. Um, one testimony last night, there was a man, uh, his name was Nathan. He was eating food in the food court at uh, Lloyd Center Mall. And God just told me, that's your brother. I heard it in my heart. That's your brother. So I walked up to him like, hey, what's up, man? And he had tattoos. I, I noticed that he had tattoos and he had a, um, what's it called? Or a rosary. I said, man, you believe in Jesus, man? And he's like, uh, not really. I mean, I grew up Catholic. He said, no, no mucho, pero también crecí católico. Well, I was like, it doesn't matter. Can I, can I share with you something? 
I said, God wants you to know that you're a brother. Dios que tú sepas que tú eres un and that you're a son. Y que tú eres un hijo. And I said, is by any chance, do you have any pain in your body? Dije, Mira, ¿no dolor en tu and he said, yeah, I have pain in my ankle from skateboarding. Sí, uh, uh, so I said, cool. Uh, dice, Mira. And if anybody wants to see the testimony, I have it recorded. Y si, y si ver el testimony lo but I said, cool. I said, let me pray. Dije, wow, orar por ti. So I said, in Jesus' name, all y pain goes. En el de Jesús, todo dolor se va. And I guess you guys know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, he, he ended up getting healed. But the, the most important thing, Pero la cosa más as I gave him my information, my phone number, and, and those things, I was able to contact him this morning. Lo pude esta and he rededicated his life to God. So many testimonies I, I can tell you. Tantos testimonios que te puedo decir. But you guys' lives are going to be living testimonies. Tus vidas van a ser un testimonio vivo. Um, Amen. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Oh, he's good. He's good. He's good. Are you guys ready? <laughs> are you guys ready? You ready for Jesus to show up? He's already here. He's already here. But there's 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 people here who are hungry to walk in this. Amen. God is going to do mighty things. For here. Especially, I love I love my brothers and sisters I met last Monday. Oh Lord, the army. There's an army. Right there. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> I love JJ. I love JJ. We ran into him. Uh, nos aparecimos con él. Uh, last night. Anoche. And just God started just healing through him right off the bat. Y Dios empezó a usarlo para sanar. He prayed for a lady's shoulder. Oro por una, uh, el, el hombre de una persona. A, a girl he knew from school. Una muchacha que él conoció de la escuela. She, she was healed. Fue sanada. You guys heard about the Muslim testimony. Escucharon del musulmano. They, we were on the second floor of Lloyd Center. Estábamos en el segundo piso de Lloyd Center. And he said, someone's got pain in their back. So he's going up to people trying to figure out who it is who has pain. And this guy walks by kind of with the backpack trying to hide from people it looked like. We walk up, he walks up to him. Ask him if his back hurts. He goes, yeah, why, why do you ask? Sí, porque preguntas. And we just proclaimed how Jesus is a healer. Le explicamos que Jesús es un sanador. We prayed for him. Oramos por él. His back got healed. Su espalda fue sanada. We prayed for him to experience God's presence. Oramos para que tuviera una experiencia con la presencia de Dios. And he did. Y fue sano. He rededicated his life to Redic the Lord. Dedicó su vida a Jesús. He got baptized in the Holy Spirit. Fue bautizado en el Espíritu Santo. And JJ bought him a Bible. Y le dimos una Biblia. Jesus. <laughs> Hermanos, Dios es muy bueno. Yo puedo, con el permiso, yo lo, siempre he sabido de que Dios usa a todos. Siempre lo he sabido. A mí, mi papá es pastor, me nos enseña todos los días. Yo, yo crecí en el Evangelio, yo, yo he visto lo sobrenatural, yo crecí en una iglesia donde lo profético es, es, era lo normal. Pero es diferente cuando uno lo escucha, cuando uno tiene la experiencia realmente. Y el lunes pasado estábamos con los jóvenes y yo sentada ahí escuchándolos a ellos hablar y yo dije, wow, like, Dios sí puede usar a todo el mundo, es, es verdad, y yo bien motivada en la fe y de repente me para y me dice, ¿quieres sanar a alguien? Y yo, ok. Y le dice, Ponios, tenemos un joven, se llama Joey, el de la guitarra. 
que no sabíamos que su espalda le dolía porque sus pies estaban, no, no estaban alineados. Entonces le agarramos la, las, las piernas y vemos de que un pie está más pequeño que el otro. Y él me dice, ¿quieres sanarlo tú? Y yo, wow, like, esta va a ser la primera experiencia, es diferente ver en la televisión que hacerlo. Entonces le agarro sus pies y me dice, dile en el nombre de Jesús que crezca. Le digo, en el nombre de Jesús te ordeno que crezca. Y de frente de mis ojos, con mis propias manos, vi cómo ese pie salía.
Find somebody, start praying. Gloria a Dios. Entiendan lo que tenemos que hacer para hacerlo rapidito. Lo que ellos quieren enseñarnos como iglesia es que Dios los usa ahí de una manera muy simple 